All right, testing. Testing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We are live, folks. What is up, everyone? It is your boy, Shazman21, and welcome to another episode of Hola, Hola, Hola. Let me get my mic real quick. Let me get my mic real quick. Hold on, hold on. Watch, 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 watch. Shh, 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 shh. Let's pipe it down a little bit. Let's pipe it down a little bit. Oop. Talk. Episode 22. Yes, sir. We ain't doing the two ones. We're doing the dos, dos. You know what I'm saying? Anyways. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> What a great intro that was. Anyways, um, for this topic, for tonight's topic, we should say, on uh, episode of We Talk, episode 22, this one's very, very special. So you better pay attention to this one. So, I've been thinking about, you know, what's been going on with fitness, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I've been talking about it a lot of, as of lately, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I think I'm going to put you guys on, uh brief game real quick on uh, my journey thus far with like you know um the fitness journey that i've been on for quite a bit of time so uh right now i'm trying to like lose some like you know new year's way i kind of like got a little bit you know it wasn't too bad as it was like the last time when i was like <laughs> at a astonishing 200 pounds it's crazy to think about because like i'm no longer in that range i'm more closer to now like the 190s and 180s mostly sometimes in the 180s and yeah man it's it's a it feels like a lifetime ago i was like you know a little bit bigger than i was especially like my hi highest like you know weight i went up to which was what, 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 what uh 207 pounds or 208 pounds 207 pounds and wow <laughs> yeah i need to get my life together with that stuff so uh I uh, dedicate this, you know, to, like, working out and, you know, doing a lot of stuff. But um, I won't get into too much details on that because, you know, I want to save that up when I um, reach day 60 and day 90, which I'm getting closer to, and, you know, I'm doing my best with that. But for this topic, it's just more about, you know, just, like, with anime in general. But I do want get, to get you guys on, like, you know, peep gang, on, what's, or sorry, peep game on what's been going on with, you know, my fitness journey, and I've been killing it. I mean, I just completed my 30-day transformation. Um, I will probably post a video of my 30-day uh, body in comparison to where I was at, you know, like, of course, 30 days ago or, you know, when I first got it started. But, um, yeah, definitely been making some improvements on there. So I'll talk about that another time. But anyways... For this, you know, um, fitness thing, we're going to be talking about, you know, how anime, you know, characters train, you know, how would they, like, do this. This is somewhat inspired by some people I've, like, uh, watched here that have, like, done it, like, a little bit, you know, uh, on a different um, level than I can <laughs> as best as possible. But, like, more noticeably, you know, with Jack's Blade, of course, you know, big shout out to him for, you know, just being a great positive influence. And not only, like, fitness, but with the anime community in general and, you know... I got nothing but love and respect for my brother, from another mother, you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, shout out to Jack Blade for this one, so that's pretty much where I got a little bit of my information from, and I will also uh, give a bit of a shout with uh, B4 Flex as well, for also, you know, talking about, you know, certain anime characters that be doing that. I think I saw his, like, uh, one with Vegeta on it, that one was really good, and that's about it, and, uh... Uh, do I have to go? Nah, I ain't gonna talk about that, uh, debate part here about whatever. Anyways, let's just, get, let's just focus on the topic here. So, uh, what I got here is just, you know, something simple, you know, how do characters in anime train? What would be their normal time to train? Um, are they training for hypertrophy or to be strong? Um, who is the most influential anime character for fitness and wellness, which we all probably know. Um, I don't think I really want to say much of who that is if you've been living on the rock for whatever reason you don't know the most influential animated character that has actually gotten people to like you know transform their bodies just look up uh gogo flex not gogo flex or was it isn't it oh i think i got his name right i i hope i got his name right but him 
like just look at his inspiration of why he's the way he is. Or um, my boy uh, Teron Beckham. Guess what his like favorite character is? Who is uh, you know? Anyways, anyways, you know, you get what I'm saying. All right, all right, all right, I don't even think I need to say it yet. But anyways, with their already busted status, and I mean it is already crazy enough of just the, how much power that they have. Usually, you know, because of plot, or sometimes they actually worked up towards it. You know, for example, um, I guess I'll use a Naruto example where like uh, Naruto was kind of essentially blessed from you know having a nine tail power and then you know a um ancestor to one of the um sons of the six past I, I forgot the dude's name already but it is what it is yada 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 and he did work for it but it's just like you know we all know he's the main character the, the, the series is named after him anyways but um he's he's powerful in his own right but also like another example would be like rockley or my guy where they're, like, they're not usually, like, the strongest with, like, ninjutsu or genjutsu or what the heck ever. But they're taijutsus? Ah, uh, yeah. That is awesome. MMA elite status mixed in with some anime logic type of power. And, um, yeah, you would get that. And they'd be doing the most. Like, heck, um, the most influential fight in history. Rock Lee vs. Gara, One of the best fights in animation history. Animation history. Rock Lee vs. Gara, Just how much like they uh, put into, you know, just that. But anyways. <laughs> With the already busted status. That, that, those are just examples. Can they outperform a regular person with or without their anime powers? Now, yes, they can with. But... How would they be able to do their own things that has already made them who they are in anime? Say, we brought them into real life and they don't have none of that. Would they still be able to be, you know, beasts in their own rights? Um, another one would be, do they have a high or low body fat percentage and is it maintainable in real life? And in such situations, it probably isn't. And then the last one would be, the minus the anime power-ups, of course. Are these trainings and exercise the characters are doing in their respective series applies anywhere? And I mean anywhere in real life. And you'll be surprised about the answer. So anyways, let's get on to how do characters at Abbey train? Now, I ain't going to like, list off too much names here because, you know, there's probably a bunch of like shonen characters that have like pretty much like already like, you know, done their training. Like, for example, again, you know, Goku. I think Luffy, I believe, in certain situations. Or, well, not necessarily with Luffy, but with Zoro, actually. So, yeah, Zoro. Um, who else? Uh, Asta from uh, Black Clover. I think I said his name right. I, I need to watch Black Clover again. It's been a very long time since I've last watched it. So, I might probably got his... Yeah. Um, Asta? Oh, awesome. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it's been a minute. Um, he has trained a lot, you know. Um, I think... Has, wait, Natsu, has Natsu trained? Or, uh, Grey? Ooh, Natsu? Yeah, Natsu and Grey, like... I know that they have their, like, powers or whatnot, you know, because, you know, yeah, he dragons... Yeah, Remember, he went to the frogs and, and trained for the pain fight. No, that's Naruto. Natsu. Oh, Natsu. Natsu, from yeah. Fairy tale. From Naruto. Yeah, they trained, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they did. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they did. Okay. Oh, of that. Um. Not that. Well, I guess that seven-year thing after that whole. Um. Tournament. Yeah, that. Not the other one where you know they came back and there was like, the fairy tale got like you know pretty much um bamboozled because the main people weren't there. Like it was something else. But yeah, not sued. Da da da. So yeah. Think of them like that. How would they um, train? I would say from the looks of it, just from clips I've seen, I think I've seen Ichigo has... Ah, this is kind of tough sometimes, but maybe. No, I don't know. I mean, he has trained, but it was mostly just because he needed to control something else. But but then again, that counts for something. We'll see. I'll, I'll talk about the bleach part in a minute, but 
yeah, just for example, again, Goku, um, oh, Baki, um, King and, or King and, uh, Oma took, Takita, Oma Takita, <laughs> that's his name, <laughs> from King Ashura, um, a few others, uh, Jojo, I think, y yeah, anyways, just those, uh, basic characters, you know, from the series, um, they do work out, and from what I've noticed, is usually they do calisthenics, majority of the time, you know, I, you would see them do, like, push-ups, handstand push-ups, Sometimes dips and pull-ups, I believe, and sometimes they either like get jacked with it, or sometimes they look relatively the same. I'll be a little different. Oh, 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 because it's coming back pretty soon. Uh, for my hair, give me uh, Deku, uh, Midoriya, yeah, Midoriya, the the kid with the green hair and whatnot. Yeah, he trains too, like all the time. And oh, Saitama, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dang, this is a lot tougher than I expected, but. Again, but then again, usually it's mostly, again, calisthenic exercises. Rarely do they ever really do weights. Now, I'm sure they can. Because, like, the only people I've seen that have, like, done that, you know, just, like, actually, like, lifted weights and just, like, you know, being very strong and relatively strong with it is Zoro. And that boy be <laughs> lifting really heavy weights that he, he'd be making, like, strong mans look like, are they even trying and that's saying a lot, because, uh, you know, Zora's body is, you know, not of a strong, you know, man or whatnot, but he's, like, a lean dude, and he's out here doing that. But, <laughs> anyways, uh, usually they just, like, train calisthenics the majority of the time, and sometimes, since they're usually, like, fighting against, like, a lot of, like, villains the majority of the time, you know, just, like, you know, doing some, like, child boxing, maybe, I would have to say... It's a mixture between calisthenics, polymetric exercises, and also MMA training, or just technically just martial arts training majority of the time because they don't really do like wrestling necessarily. Although, if you could count like just like always like throwing your opponent and just like you know like slamming them down or whatnot, and also doing some ground and pounds, then that counts as MMA, maybe. We'll see. But yeah, majority of the time, they would just be playing... Uh, training. <laughs> playing. Uh, man, I, I think I'm going to slow down a little bit. <laughs> majority of the time, I think they just, like, train for calisthenics. Mostly, you know, fighting majority of the time. Whether that's sword or, you know, with the fist sometimes. Or um, kunais or whatnot in Naruto. And all types of stuff. Um, yeah, I think that's how they would normally train. I think there's, like, still some, like, a uh, few exceptions where it's just, like, for the bulky ones that I don't quite rem remember, like, for All Might and whatnot. Although, for him, it's just, like, because of the One For All. I'm sure in his spare time, he would also, like, do weights. I don't know if they have, like, ever shown that in the anime or the manga, like, ever. But I'm sure, like, he was still doing something similar to that, or he, he, he was probably genetically blessed to have a body like that, I guess, I don't know. It is what it is. But, um, yeah, usually, just with the few exceptions, but, you know, Zoro and possibly All Might in his, like, spare days, or spare, um, out hours, like, you know, getting, you know, some resistance training, I'll have to say, majority of the time, most shonen characters or whatever, usually train calisthenics heck even kirito from sora online was also doing that too and i understand people don't like him because you know he's a dud character and all that whatever yes and the bridge version of kirito is probably better and whatever all i gotta say is like you know he does train too albeit in vr but then again think about it he's in vr although in that case you know he was stuck in a game because if you die in the game, you die real life type shit, but whatever. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Yeah, they usually train for calisthenics, plyometric exercises, usually just jumping around, doing stuff sometimes, and some MMA training here and there. You know, I'm just saying, like, uh, what was it? They usually do jabs, straights. Um, they do add in some kicks here and there. 
Um, roundhouse kick, front kick, front roundhouse kick. No, not front roundhouse kick. Front kicks, sometimes spinning kicks. And they do be having, like, grappling um, exchanges here and there with, you know, a few, you know, characters here. And it'd be interesting. And that's kind of about it. And, again, with the few exceptions, with, like, two characters that come to mind with that, or probably more, you know, Zoro and All Might, you know, possibly just doing, like, weightlifting. That's pretty much all I can technically say about that. Anyways, the next topic would be... What would be their normal time to train? So, it's hard to pinpoint whether or not how they, like, train or whatnot. Because, again, it just depends on, you know, the time of day or whatnot. Because, you know, everyone also, you know, has a time of day to, like, train. They can either train in the morning. They can train in the afternoon, evening, at night, whatever. But from what I can pretty much say, because, like, usually um, these characters are either, like, obviously, like, adventures or whatnot i would say their normal time to train is usually during the day like either morning or the afternoon or sometimes the evenings i think actually is it the evenings i don't know normally i'll just like see them like train in in daytime anyways but there might be some times where they will like train at night i guess for example um Midoriya, sometimes, like, uh, training at night. Sometimes, I think. I don't know. While, like, you know, going to school, doing his thing or whatnot. But I say the normal time is usually... Again, this is an estimate because, like, you don't quite really know. But, again, I'll have to, like, give this a bit of a low ball. Because, like, again, they mostly train at, during the daytime. Unless I'm missing, like, some few characters that do it at night times, sometimes, too. But, anyways... Usually daytime, like either morning or the afternoon or sometimes the evening in a few scenarios. But it's usually in the morning, somewhere around 8 to 9, where you normally do your workouts at or whatever. Um, and the afternoon is like usually 12 to 1 maybe, 12 to 1 or 12 to 2. And that's about it, I think. Because again, it's hard to it's gonna have to wait sorry best friend you got to wait a little bit um anyways um <laughs> what was i saying oh yeah i think that's uh pretty much it about like you know the times that they train because it's hard to like you know exactly pinpoint the days that they actually train but they do train usually during the day or you know somewhere morning or the afternoon or sometimes the evening and Rarely do they actually do it at night unless they want to get their cardio in. Although, actually, no, 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 no. Because I watched Cyberpunk Edge Runner and um, David Martinez, uh, the main dude in uh, the series and whatnot. Make sure you guys actually watch that uh, show because it's really, really good. And uh, shout out to my best friend for actually uh, hooking me up to that uh, show because, like, it, it's really good. But um, David usually does like train a lot and uh would sometimes like go at night you know training with uh lucy i think um you know his future baby and um <laughs> they do their like little uh cardio just by running and stuff and yeah that's kind of about it but yeah that just like came to my mind because like you know there is a training there was a training scene with like you know david and he did train at night and he was you know doing like cardio with Lucy, I believe, but it was it was nice. But otherwise, normal day for most anime characters is usually during the day. At least I think so. But anyways, again, it's hard to uh, estimate exactly the time uh, point of how they train. But just to you know have like a good estimate, most of the time it's during the day. Depending on where it's at, you know, mon not Monday. <laughs> um, either it's um, again the morning the afternoon or the evening and that's about it or the noon or whatever anyways let's go ahead and um get to another topic here and that is who is the most influential animated character for fitness and wellness and if you guys 
Still have not picked it up for whatever reason, even though I did just mention this guy's name on the first topic. I'm going to say it again. But, but before I do so, I'm going to let you guys, you know, have like, you know, 5, 10, 50 seconds to like, you know, guess these characters or character that that has like, you know, had such a big impact in fitness and wellness, so... I'll give you guys like a good minute or what not to do your thing. I'll be back. I gotta just do something real quick, but yeah. Anyways, you guys got five to 50 seconds, all right? All right, here we go. Mmm, this is good. Mmm. This tastes really good because it's the blood of my enemies after I do a great exercise and. Destroy them. <laughs> Anyways, uh, the however long this has been for you guys to like finally say whatever has been up. Again, you guys that uh, did not uh, know who this is, whatever. It's Goku. Wait, hold on. Where where is he at? Where is he at? He's somewhere around here. Uh, da, 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 da. I have no idea where he's at, actually. But he's somewhere, but like I said, it's Goku. Obviously. Oh, actually, no, there he is. Super Saiyan God version. Of course. Anyways, Goku, the most influential animated character of all time. And more importantly, he was influential for a lot of anime nerds to, like, really get really take our training very seriously because in his story you know just right from his journey he always wants to improve and the reason why is because you know he uh boba of course like found him and she made him have his like life purpose to like you know collect these dragon balls and become like you know a better person yada 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 you know boba being the most you know important character in all of the dragon ball series but otherwise it's just again Goku shows that no matter the odds, no matter what's going on, you got to keep it going. You know what I'm saying? And how he does it is just like, you know, again, he constantly trains. He constantly it strives to get better no matter what. From childhood to even teenagehood, especially when he was uh, gone for a bit longer to, the, you know, like train here and there and do his thing. And, you know, that paid off from, like, you know, beating a few other you know contestants even being his future wife you know chi chi because you know uh <laughs> accidentally though but um you know she, she got mad because you know goku completely forgot about her which is just hilarious and you know he accidentally you know like swaps her a bit and she she gets defeated which is hilarious and um it, it's just a little funny and he was like oh my, I'm, so, I'm so sorry you know stuff like that or, you know, that, like, epic fight he had with Piccolo Jr., a.k.a. Piccolo. You know, THE Piccolo. Shoot. No, King Piccolo and Piccolo. That's it. Yeah, but at the time, you know, he was Piccolo Jr. So, you know, he was still, you know, under the Jr. name before he decided, you know, I, I don't really need that because, you know, I'm me. I'm Piccolo, you know what I'm saying? But otherwise, yeah, he fought against Piccolo or Piccolo Jr. at the time. And um, it was a tough fight. But he ended up, you know, taking the dub. And, um, you know, you, you all know what happened with the Dragon Ball uh, Z stuff. You know, from the Saiyan Saga, from the Frieza Saga, from the Cell Saga, to the Android Saga, to um, the Boo Saga, and all types of stuff. And if you want to count Dragon Ball Super GT, you got Omega Shamron, you got Super Baby, you got Android, or Super 17, and so many other characters at GT. Um... And Super, you got Goku Black and Moro? Because those are, like, the only, like, villains that, like, were impactful. But then again, um, I guess we could count the enemies from Universe 6, whatever. Or Turn Up a Power, Jiren, or Broly, or stuff like that. But, um, yeah, either way, it's just, like, you know... Even in those, like, circumstances, too, it's just that, you know, Goku has always, like, shown, 
you know, that you always got to, you know, stay training. Heck, his most, like, inf infamous training, besides, you know, like, with his training with, with, with Vegeta, with, you know, Whis, or Vegeta's training in, like, the, um, not the time chamber, but the, um, crap. The, um, it's not a time machine. It's just, like, gravity chamber, yes. The gravity chamber, like, you know, Vegeta's gravity chamber is Ooh, it's so god tier, bro. It it just it's always motivational. And so is Goku too. Like, you know, just just seeing those two just like straight up like, you know, just like cranking in, you know, some like push ups, sit ups, um, punches and kicks and all this other stuff while in gra gravity is insane. And that is very, very influential. And you know, that just like shows that no matter what, you always got to stay consistent with your fitness goals and your wellness. You gotta take care of that as well, you know. That's why even, like, you know, Goku's, like, so, you know, mentally tough, too. Because, like, most other people in Goku's situation will probably freak out. Like, let's just keep it real. Like, all of us would possibly freak out if we don't, you know, control, you know, our, our you know, shit. Whereas, like, Goku has, like, you know, again, practice, like, meditation. You know, practice controlling his emotions and just having a good time. Unless somebody tries, like, you know, really, like, piss him off. Then, yeah, that's they're gonna get, get their asses handed to him. Shout out to Frieza in the uh, Frieza saga when he was getting his butt whooping so many times after killing, you know, Krillin, aka Goku's, you know, best friend. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> Frieza definitely learned from that and then, um, ended up doing the same thing again, this time with Broly, and still getting his ass whooped. And then whatever whatever with Frieza I don't know it's gotten to the point where I kind of just like lost it because apparently now Frieza is the most strongest thing now and he, because he's black or I don't know I uh, I don't know what's up with the storyline with the current uh stuff with Dragon Ball Super it's it's very infuriating at times especially for someone that's like been a fan of the series for a very long time I'm just like what the fuck is going but anyways, that's really besides the point. Who, who cares about Frieza? I clearly don't. But otherwise, yeah, um, majority of the time, you know, Goku is usually a very calm dude. Like, very, very chill. Like, th there will be some things that might set him off here and there, but majority of the time, he's a cool dude. He's also a pretty decent and sometimes a good dad to his uh, kids. Sometimes, yes, he's decent and a good dad to his kid. You know, Goku, sorry, Gohan and Goten do not come at me with the fact that he was a bad father. Don't get me started on that. Anyways, I digress. I digress. Anyways, again, Goku is very influential for all of us, you know, anime nerds who are also into fitness because, like, we do take, you know, a lot from, you know, just like either, you know, from Goku's physique or just the way that he actually trains and just like go with it. And it's usually like, again, calisthenics and actually surprisingly got us into martial arts. Now, of course, if you are like a martial arts fan, of course, you have like Bruce Lee, Jet Li, um, Jackie Chan and uh, a few more others like Michael Jai White and Scott Atkins and just so many other great um martial arts actors and actresses that'd be, like, out here, like, you know, just, like, putting in that work, you know what I'm saying, like, it's always great to see that, and, uh, but I just want to just say that, you know, again, for us anime nerds or whatever, um, Goku is, like, the most influential, same with Saitama, you know, of course, the 100 pushes, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and, you know, running one K mile or one mile every day, and, Becoming a beast within himself or not, and just like so many others. But again, the most influential character will still be Goku, no matter what. But yeah, anyways, that's the most influential fitness and wellness uh, person. And I think I've gone on long enough about that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get to another topic. And that is, what their already busted status? Like, just... What they are still somewhat able to do already, you know, calisthenics, mixed martial arts, whatever, or sometimes resistance training. But can they actually outperform a regular person 
with or without the anime powers? Yes, with anime powers, absolutely. It does not matter. Like the anime powers that they have, or the, just the powers that they have, in, you know, in the respective series under you know Japanese animation is busted. It is insane. It's crazy. Especially if it's applied in real life. We will be squashed 100% of the time. No matter what. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But let's just say we strip away just the powers that they already had. You know, just whatever. Uh, you know, oh, I have uh, a Ninetale Beast assignment. Or, oh, I can, like, transform into different, you know, sane, Super Saiyan moments with different hairstyles and different hair colors all the time or turn into a hollow or turn it in into like a gear fifth or sixth of final time or final form who the heck ever is or stuff like that you know just let's take away that and let's see how they were are they still going to be able to outform a regular person yes and sometimes no because even a regular person let's just say they do some like really busted things may or may not be able to um, be on par or sometimes surpass some of the characters if let's say they don't have their powers. At least some. Not all though, because all of them, especially like if they were to transfer in real life, would still be able to like do some insane amount of things. I mean, insane amount of things. So, you know, it just depends. But yes. Can they outperform a regular person with or without their anime powers? Yes, but also without their powers. Also yes, but a little bit of no. There's like a few characters that I probably would say that may not necessarily, you know, outperform a regular person depending on the situation. But these are just like characters that don't really do the workouts anyways. Such as that kid or the guy with the balls on his head of my Eric Debbie. Ain't no way he is outperforming a regular person under any given circumstances. And honestly, I have to keep it real, with the exception of maybe Midor Midoriyama or uh Midoriya or um Bakugo and whatever. But like just with the few exceptions with them, I would honestly have to say most of my hair academia um students or whatever I gotta keep it real. Eh, they're not gonna do so well with a regular person. Especially if, like, a regular person that goes to the gym or whatever. I I'm just saying. It is what it is. Um, just, it is what it is with that. Not to lowball it too much, but it's just like, again, this is without their anime powers. Again, with their anime powers, just already, especially their quirks or whatnot, in the anime. Because that's, again, a quirk. That's a superpower. That's been a thing since comic book. Alright? Since comic book. Alright? But in this case, in my academia, it's a quirk. Yes. Absolutely. 100%. 1000%. Yes, they can outperform a regular person with their anime powers. And with a few exceptions, again, without their um, anime powers, with only a few exceptions, with, you know, Deku, um, Bakugo, uh, Todoroki, and maybe even All Might or Endeavor, whatever. Um, anybody else? Definitely not. Probably definitely not. Especially that again, the weird thing with the the ball, who's a pervert. Like, ain't no way, ain't no way he's outperforming a regular person under any given circumstances. Like, nah. He's the size of a kid, and he's out here doing some weird stuff. Like, nah, 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 nah. Ain't no way. Yeah. He's definitely gonna have a hard time with that, but otherwise, I, I don't know what the the dude with the ball's head name is. Whatever, the thing that is like attached and something you attach it, it, it it's the useless thing. So, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, um, with the anime powers, yes, it can outperform a regular person, but without their anime powers, um, just with a few exceptions of like other characters, you know. Deku and then a few from like, you know, Dragon Ball Z, a little bit of Naruto, and a little bit of uh, One Piece and here and there, whatever. Um, other characters, nah, definitely not. It's gonna, it's gonna be a lot harder than them. 
And that's all I gotta say about that before it gets too controversial. But then again, who cares? Because, again, keep this in mind. This is fictional. It's not even a real thing. But anyways, let's go ahead and get to another topic here. Dang, we're almost done. How, how are we doing with time here? Uh, okay, we're, we're doing pretty good. This is surprisingly the most, like, you know, interesting thing. So, we're kind of 35 minutes in. Yeah, we could definitely, like, um, finish uh, up somewhat in under an hour. That's going to be an insane moment for me to do because usually it's, you know, an hour or sometimes two hours depending on how it goes. But, yeah, I'm doing pretty good with this. It's crazy. Anyways, let's just keep it going. So, this uh, topic here. Do... They have a high or low body fat percentage or percent. And is it maintainable in real life? All right. Let's get the elephant in the room here. They are technically speaking in a low body fat percentage. And majority of the time, at least in certain angles or whatever, some of them be looking like they are ripped beyond like craziness. For example, um, Goku, yeah, yes, yes, Goku and Vegeta, whatever. They look very shredded in, like, Dragon Ball Super. Like, it's insane how they look, like, shredded, but they're still able to, like, you know, maintain, like, such a, a powerful, you know, you know, they, they maintain their power or whatnot. But, um, otherwise, their body fat percentage is usually, like, in this case, like, very low, say, like, four, five, six. Heck, if you want to, like, really lowball it, it could be at a two or one. But to be honest, um, it's probably just three to five or seven or nine. So between pretty much three to nine percent body fat. And it's insane to think about. It's crazy. And, like, it is somewhat maintainable, but that's only for a few, 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 few people that could actually maintain that year round and not necessarily need to get the you know like none of that now it is impossible to like you know maintain a low body fat percentage for a longer duration of time because it's only a matter of time before you know some really some messed up stuff happens so it's definitely not manageable in real life sometimes but i have seen like a few um characters that um don't necessarily have the rib bodies because the only rib bodies I could like think of that has that is you know Goku, Vegeta, Saitama, um, Asta? Asta, yeah, Asta did as well. Um, who else? Well, oh yeah, Natsu and Gray, and uh, that's about it. Because like a few that I uh, know that don't really have that like you know ripped body necessarily is Naruto and Sasuke um dang who else Spike Spiegel um uh the black dude from Black Lagoon I, I, I don't forgot about that guy's name uh definitely not like low but he's definitely like you know a big brolic dude um some of the characters in like Full Metal Alchemist I think um, their body fat is definitely not even on the low. Sometimes it's either between like 10 for certain characters like Eric and maybe a few others. But majority of the time, the adults are usually in their normal adult range of like somewhere like that's 20 or 25% or even sometimes um, 15% depending on the situation. But yeah, that too. Um, who else? Uh, Spike Spiegel. Yeah, Spike Spiegel, my boy. Steve Bloom. Shout out to him. Like, he be, he was, like, the cornerstone for just a lot of our childhood, too, bro. From, you know, playing as Tom and also playing as Spike Spiegel and just playing so many other characters, man. It's, it's insane. And, um, again, I'm a shout out to my mom, but in a funny way because, um, yeah, my mom actually got to meet Steve Bloom and um, the other voice actress, who plays, who played as the lady in Ghost in the Shell? And fun fact, they are married. That's crazy to think about, but they are. 
And uh, to this day, I still have a bit of a beef with my mom about the fact that he, she met Steve Bloom and I did it! Yeah, I hope you're watching this, mom, because I'm still not over the fact that you met Steve Bloom. Because if you would have, if you would have took me to like uh, Comic Con like a very long time ago, because I know you did with a few with a friend that was there for you or whatnot. If you would have like got me there, I would have lost my fucking mind if I met Steve Bloom. Hey, it, even if he actually like sees this video, I would lose my freaking mind if he actually watches the video. I'm gonna be like, oh my god. The man himself is there. It's... But anyways. God. I'm boring too much here. This is, this is what happens when you're an anime fan. Because this happens all the time. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Let's, let's get back on track. Let's get back on track. Um, Spike Spiegel. I will have to say his uh, body is surprisingly maintainable. Because it's not like it's crazy lean like Goku and Vegeta's like that's just like that's already insane but I say he's like oh god cause I, I've only like seen him shirtless and that was only like you know when he was like practicing I think uh Jeet Kune Do you know inspired by you know the legendary Bruce Lee himself who is still the most awesome dude ever and of course rest in peace to him you know from what happened to him but otherwise again you know you know Jeet Kune Do and stuff um, his body, you know, uh, Spice Beetle's body, of course, it's definitely lean, but it's not, like, crazy lean. It's, like, I think for that, I believe it's, like, ooh, because it's not 9%, and it's definitely not 15%, not even close. Um, I would have to say it's, like, it's got to be, like, between 10 to 15 14 or 10 to 13 percent body fat because he's like relatively lean like you can definitely like seeing some like you know lines and stuff and i'll have to say 12 actually or 12 to 11 or 12 to 10 and like it it, it, it depends it, it, it can go either way but personally definitely 12 percent body fat like he's definitely like you know he does carry a little bit of it but it's not like crazy where it's like oh you know you can notice the fat or not you know, like you kind of can, but you kind of don't. He's lean, or whatever. Whereas, like, so many other characters, even the comic book characters, yeah, no, nah, um, that is just gonna be a doozy, because, um, usually they look like, you know, sometimes bodybuilders on stage, and same with the anime characters, and they usually, again, maintain a low body fat percentage. So, yeah. Usually they do have a high or low one, and... Is some of it maintainable in real life? Absolutely. Heck, even Spike Spiegel's body, you know, it's definitely maintainable in real life. Um, Goku and Vegeta's, it's maintainable only for a short period of time. Especially if you're, you know, either competing or... Maybe not necessarily competing, but just let's say you want to do, like, a shoot or you want to do, like, a cosplay contest or whatever. Stuff like that, which I might actually be doing at some point. So, I'll keep that in mind. But, um, yeah... It's, like, a short period of time of just, like, you know, looking, like, your absolute best, you know, ripped or whatnot. And it is what it is. Whereas, like, you know, the Saiyans, you know, which that's what they are. They're Saiyans. They're not human beings. It's completely different. And um, for them, they're able to... Um, Goku and uh, Vegeta are able to, like, maintain such a lean physique for a long time. Heck, even, uh, I think, in Goku's case, and also in Vegeta's case, they were also, like, bulky, too. And still was able to, like, have, like, a... A crazy body too on top of that you know <laughs> let's not forget how like when goku turned into super saiyan for the first time and he was like bulky he was like huge dude and like um for vegeta like when we saw him go like you know what was it super vegeta 2 or just yeah super vegeta 2 he was also like massive as well which also kind of was a detriment which he got his ass beat by Cell, of course, but still, it was uh, it was cool to see. And his son, or his future son, you know, uh, Future Trunks himself, was also, you know, bulky, but it, it lacked a lot of things. Um, as a matter of fact, hold up a second. My bad, y'all. I had to see what's up with my brother there, but anyways, let's go ahead and uh, keep it going. Um, yeah, definitely, like, um, it was cool to see. But again, um, I think that's like stated before, like if you have like way too much muscles and you don't know how to like use it or whatnot, 
it can suck. Heck, even that, um, it was like a prime example of like, if you're like way too bulky, but you don't know how to like fight or whatnot, would be like the fight with Nappa versus Goku, where just Goku just completely toyed with him. Like it, it wasn't even a competition. Like he just straight up just destroyed him, even in Kyle Ken. And then same thing happened too when he just easily defeated Raccoon and then um, Berter and um, Joyce, I think. A few of the Ginyu Force up until he wasn't able to beat Captain Ginyu because uh, Captain Ginyu decided to pull a swap um, body or whatnot. But yeah, whatever. Whatever. I call that a cheap uh, victory on a Ginyu's part, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, he just like solos, um, you know, Nappa, Raccoon, Berter, and uh, Joyce wasn't that big, but Berter, yeah, just like, just straight up, just like, absolutely annihilated those guys, like, without even trying, but without even breaking a sweat, he didn't even have to turn into any type of form whatsoever to beat them, necessarily, heck, even the only time that, um, well, okay, for the first, only for that one time with Nappa, but that's just like, you know, really like, you know, like, try to like, um, get to him before he, of course, tries to kill, you know, Gohan and Piccolo or not. Or wait, Piccolo's already dead, my bad. Gohan and Krillin. And, um, yeah, that was it. it. But anyways, I think that's all I gotta say about that, but, yeah. A few, like, um, bodies, like, oh yeah, did I say anything about Naruto and Sasuke's? Okay, Naruto and Sasuke's uh, body fat percentage is actually at a normal rate. So it's not lean, but it's definitely not like crazy fat either. So I would have to say, for example, Naruto, I think I'll consider his body fat percentage to be, and this is just like teenage version of him, because we're not counting adults necessarily, which is, you know, with, you know, the whole Barto situation, which I, I don't like Barto, so we're not going to go there. But otherwise, you know, we're just going to stick to like how they were, you know, when they were in Shifuda and whatnot. Um, Naruto's by fat percentage, because it, it stayed pretty much relatively the same, you know, from when he was 16 to when he turned 17 and whatnot. Um, I have to say it's 13% because he's like a, surprisingly a lot leaner than Sasuke. Like, surprisingly. Um, yeah, definitely 13% body fat or 14 because it's not like 15 where it's like, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a little different, but definitely, like, he's, you know, relatively lean. Of course, not as lean as my guy, Rockley, or even, um, Kakashi, which uh, I would say, like, Kakashi, man. <laughs> oh, boy, that boy is 10 to 9% body fat and is looking scrumptious. Like, he is, uh, you know what I'm saying? And I want to cosplay as him one day after, you know, I lean out a, a little bit more. But, um, anyways... Yeah, um, Naruto's definitely, like, 14, 13% by fan, maybe. Whereas Sasuke, I gotta keep it real. I gotta keep it real with you guys. He does look a little big at times. So, I gotta keep it real. Definitely 50% by fat or 16% by fat. Like, like, seriously. Like, I, have you seen how he looked in Shibuya? Like, yeah. He looked okay, but majority of the time, I don't know. He just did not look impressive, you know. As a wise man once said, I am not impressed by your performance. But, anyways. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, majority of the time, uh, most shonen characters and whatnot are, like, relatively ripped. Like, straight up, like, mind-blowingly ripped. It's insane. Sometimes it just looks too crazy. Even Baki... Don't get me started on Baki. Like, their body uh, fat is just... Is it even a thing? Because the majority of the time, even Baki himself is, like, also at around, like, 4%, 3% body fat as well. Whereas Juro is... I don't believe it, really, because, you know, you're really dead, but he defies death. Whatever. Jirohama is negative. Negative 9% body fat. Like, straight up. He, he defies... All logic with his body. Same with everything else. It's like, uh, it's crazy. Even his demon bag is just like, uh, I don't know. It, it, they be they be making the muscles look beautiful sometimes, but also just like, 
what? I don't know, man. It's crazy, because... <laughs> I don't know, man. They look great, but I'm like, oh my god, what what is this? It, it even makes no sense at all sometimes, but I don't know. They it, It's Baki. And sometimes these characters really do making some of these bodybuilders look like, are they even trying? They even make even Ronnie Coleman and Arnold Schwarzenegger and a few other like great bodybuilders look like children. Straight up. If you've seen Yujiro Hama's body, you would be like, oh my god. If he was ever to step on stage, it, he, he's automatically winning. It don't matter. It, it don't matter how much. It doesn't matter how much like PD usage. It doesn't matter how much stuff that you gotta put in through your body and possibly your dick. You cannot beat Yujiro Hama. His body is just... It's out of this world. It's, it's, it's out of this world. It... it, it, it it doesn't make sense, but it's out of this world. It, it, it's crazy. And yeah, he might be like a lot weaker than, you know, Goku and Vegeta. But he even makes them look like children sometimes too. Like, like I'm sorry, but good buddy Yujiro Hama is just, uh-uh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Anyways, we'll, we'll talk about Baki another day because, wow. Anyways, those, with that exception, with Goku and also Baki, Absolutely not! You're not going to maintain that shit in real life, especially if you know with Yujiro's body, Yujiro Hama's body, which is that negative nine percent body fat. Motherfucker, you're dead. When you hit zero percent body fat, you're dead. Like no, 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 definitely not. Like, but otherwise, like uh, the maintainable ones are you know Spike Spiegel, Naruto, Kakashi, and a few others that are like, you know, between like the 10 to the 12, to even sometimes the 20s for like a few characters in Full Metal Alchemist, you know, look like strong mans, like all that stuff. Like it's maintainable. It definitely is. Um, being ripped though, like year round isn't always great. So um, I would prefer that some people just, you know, if you guys want to do that for a short period of time, that's fine. It is what it is. Please do it in a safe way where it's like, you know, you're not like completely, you know, either losing your mind and also lose your appetite because I heard like so many times when you like get lean, like really, really lean and shredded, it, it's uh, it's not good. It's not good, and you know you don't. If you try to like maintain it for a bit of time, it, it sucks. It sucks. So it's better to at least like stay between you know ten to twenty or ten to fifteen percent body fat. It, it doesn't really matter. Whatever a body fat percentage that you can maintain, you know year round without necessarily worried about you know die or whatnot like you could maintain it for the rest of your life like i said some of these characters again they're drawn the way that they're drawn it's because you know they they want to make them look cool but there are a few that can be maintained in real life again like i said the real physique only a select few people can like maintain that naturally and for those that you know say that they maintain it year round naturally you know and they look like they are massive and they're big and they're seven or six percent by fat that might be a huge red flag or not even might that's a huge red flag so just don't take that take that with a sorry take that with a great assault because you know it is what it is but anyways i think that's all i gotta say about the body fat percentage i'm not really too good on this i say for example i think who's better at this than me would actually loki be actually um Greg Desette and Keto Bodybuilder, they're definitely a lot better at, like, analyzing, you know, body fat percentage than I can. I'm just estimating as best as possible as to um, how I kind of see it, but hopefully it's, like, close enough where it's, like, you know, again, some of the rib physiques that most of the Shonen protagonists have is, again, only maintainable temporarily up until you balloon up in real life. But anyways, that's, that's just in real life. Um, in anime, they maintain that for a long time. Yeah, 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 whatever. It's anime. Or it, it, it's fictional. Anyways, uh, that's all I gotta say about that. <clears throat> um, last, um, topic. Last topic. Oh, shit. Uh, how are we doing with time? Still doing okay with time. So, let's go ahead and, um, kind of finish this up uh, real quick. So, minus the anime power-ups, are these training and exercises the characters are doing in the respective series applies in real life just like with the body fat percentage does the exercise and the training that they be doing 
actually, in their respective series, you know, actually apply in real life. Yes, yes, and yes. Some of the training, and mostly all the training exercises that they usually do, does, you know, apply in real life. Again, like I mentioned, you know, the training that they do, calisthenics, sometimes, you know, MMA, the, whatever MMA that they do. Um, definitely a lot of sword play, if, since there's like, you know, a lot of like sword, um, there's like characters with like swords and whatnot, they definitely do a lot of sword play with that, or sometimes in Zora's case, you know, lifting so many ridiculous ways that it doesn't make sense, but still doing his thing. But, um, yeah, I would say um, it definitely applies. Um, for calisthenics, it's just, I'm still kind of like new to it a little bit. I'm, I've been doing it for um, a month or whatnot. And it's it's definitely doable. There's like a few other calisthenics athletes that be like doing, you know, some wonders and be looking. Mm, they'd be looking really good too, bro. Like men, women, it, it don't matter. Like they'd be looking good. Same with like uh, people that do resistance training. They also look pretty good on, on that too. But again, majority of the time, most of the anime characters, but mostly you know, shuttering characters, are usually doing some type of um, calisthenic training. Um, a little bit of resistance training, which is bodyweight training, technically speaking, and, you know, lots of martial arts, you know, training, and just all types of stuff. And does some of it actually apply? Absolutely. Uh, like, if you scale it down, you know, shout out to um, Dex Play for this one. If you scale it down, you're, you're definitely um, able to, like, maintain it in real life and be able to, like, you know, be able to, like, uh, apply it to anything, really, you know. Whatever you really want to, like, you know, get out of fitness, I'm sure, you know, especially in anime, you can, like, uh, pull that from, you know. Definitely um, do some bit more research as to, like, how some of it works, too. You know, especially, you know, like, if it's, like, applicable, because, you know, some of, the, some of it might be, like, a bit too advanced, and you might need to take some time, you know, working on a few things here and there. But, again, if you just, like, you know, try your best and do the best you can with that, then you're, you're golden. But, anyways, um, that's pretty much all I gotta say. I hope you guys actually enjoyed this uh, fitness topic about you know um, how anime uh, trainers, um, or no, sorry, not anime trainers, <laughs> the anime uh, characters you know train, they um, you know exercise and what they do, and can they outperform a regular person who's the most influential? Um, oh, actually, I forgot the question. Um, are they training for hypertrophy or to be strong? Oh, I forgot that one. Actually, let's uh, go, go ahead and quickly uh, say uh, this. Some of them do train for hypertrophy, which is uh, from, like, how many dumbbells they love. Like, they do that. But majority of the time for other characters, it's um, actually to train to be, like, strong, to be able to, like, you know, overpower, you know, villains. Dang, I actually forgot about that one. I am so sorry, guys. I forgot this one topic here about, like, if they train for hypertrophy or to be strong. Damn it. That sucks. Anyways, you know what? I think I briefly just went over it, so, um, yeah, I, wow, I actually skipped that one. Anyways, I think I'll put that in a time uh, slot of where that's at. Anyways, my bad, guys, my my bad. Because normally I, I don't, like, skip on that, but, dang, I did this time. It, it, you know what, it is what it is. It is what it is. I, I already said what I said. But, yes, some of them do train for hypertrophy. Some characters do. They do. To, like, you know, just be jacked and strong, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's absolutely nothing wrong with training for hypertrophy, you know, if you're only there to, you know, just look good, that's fine, you know, just, like, you know, pump the muscles, that's okay. Just, again, for, like, the characters, most, majority of the time, they're just only training to be, like, very strong, so they're able to, like, you know, take care of themselves, take care of their family, take care of their friends, and most importantly, protect them from, you know, invaders or danger, uh, opponents and also just villains that are just like just doing the most so that's why they do the training to be strong but anyways that's, that's all i gotta say damn that i really forgot about that one anyways my bad anyways i would recommend you guys um check out um Jax blades uh, video on just like you know a lot of, of things because like i think he has a um playlist of ah, dang it's been a minute since i've uh I watched it. some of the videos, like, um, what was it? Actually, uh, give me a second, guys. Hold on. Ah. Okay, I gotta slap myself in the face for that. Because I normally, like, uh, it's always, like, in a, 
in the tip of my tongue so many times, but it's tough like the tunes. <sighs> this is an interesting video. <laughs> this is an interesting uh, episode 22. I hope you guys enjoyed this. But anyways, make sure you guys uh, check out um, his uh, tough like the tunes here. Um, I think I could kind of show it to you guys, like, the playlist or whatnot. If, if he doesn't mind. Um, real quick. Uh, switch. but um yeah that's all i gotta say i hope you guys enjoyed this <laughs> we talk um episode um again i'm still trying to plan on getting like a guest on here so um if, if there's anybody that you can think of that's like you know very well into you know anime or the weeb stuff or any nerd stuff like please uh put them on there and i i I should be able to um, get get them on here, or heck, you can come on here as well. We just, you know, talk about some stuff. But of course, like I said, you know, Jack Play is gonna be my honorary uh, guest for the Weep Talk episode whenever that's gonna be happening, and I hope that does happen because I got like so many like topics that you know I want to like uh, talk to him about, and I got some questions too, of course, you know, just to um, see what's up with the man himself. But at the, but most importantly, I just want to just like. See if we both can have, like, a, you know, a discussion on, like, a few things with, like, anime or with video games or just, like, stuff like that. And just kind of like what I just did with the episode two where I just kind of just, like, talked about, you know, how animator... I was like, animators. <laughs> yeah, animators should start training. But anyways, anime characters, you know, train and whatnot. And we, we could probably do something similar again with, you know, again, you know, the honor guests that I will be having at some point, Jack's Blade or the Binaire. Or stuff like that. Like, definitely, I want to talk to those guys about it, and just like get their insight on a few things. Cause you know, I would love to just have those guys, you know, on Weep Talk episode, and we just like have a discussion on, you know, some anime stuff. Maybe even like <laughs> have a little bit of debate on who's gonna be, um, you know, whose character is gonna be beating this character and why, and give you know reasons as to why he may win or he may lose and just have a little bit of fun with that you know what i'm saying because like i said my slogan is always peace love and positivity to all and all this really is is just you know i'm just having fun talking about the stuff i like to talk about which is again anime and just you know being passionate about that so yeah um definitely just continue to do what you gotta do don't let these um people that have like told you that you know oh you being an anime you know, fan or just um, being a nerd about, you know, certain things and stuff. Like, don't listen to that because, you know, most of, most of the time they're really just saying that because, you know, either insecure about something going on, which is majority of the time, and just they don't like you, whatever. Who cares? And even, let's say, if you're not able to get a girl just because, or get anyone, I, I don't care what you like. It is what it is. Girl or anyone that you like, um... If they don't like you because the fact that you watch anime or you are a nerd or whatever, let that person go. There is plenty of other people that will actually love you for you. And who knows? They might not actually mind you being a nerd. And maybe they are nerds as well. If you're, like, blessed enough to, you know, be, be able to, like, um, encounter someone that's as, like, you know, excited with the, the um, nerd stuff as you. And... Just be able to have a good time. And that's, yeah, really about it. Friends, family, otherwise. But, yeah. That's uh, about it. How are we doing time? How are we doing time? How are we doing time? Okay. We're, okay. Uh, could have been under an hour. But you know what? It was getting close. It was getting close. Up until, like, I missed the topic. So, one day. One of these days. On this We've Talk, uh, We've Talk episode. I will be able to finally do it again. Be able to get through a whole podcast 
in under an hour. Who knows <laughs> if that's going to ever happen. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It's been a minute since I've been on the Weep Talks and stuff like that. I still got some, like, plenty of, uh, you know, projects I still want to, like, do that on top of other projects and on top of the, another, like, you know, Weep Talk episodes, especially, you know, like, you know, trying to, like, set up for, you know, future guests pretty soon. And, yeah, that's all I got to say. But, yeah, it's been a minute. I'm glad that I'm back on here. I'm sorry if I'm a bit over the place because, you know, again, I get excited when it comes to, like, stuff like this. So, sometimes I might stumble my words here and there. So, you know, I do my best to try to explain as best as possible. And uh, if you're still confused, I will try my best to um, explain it further in another video. Or, I don't know, just maybe respond to your kind comments. Kind! Don't be a dick about it like so many people have in a few of my videos that be assholes about it. But, eh, whatever. Just, just be a good person. Like, just, just be chill. Don't, don't be a weird and a dickish person. Like, uh, chill, chill. <laughs> Can we do that? Anyways, um, this is your boy, Shizman Twenty One, and I'm signing out. And like I said, peace, love, and positivity to all of you wonderful people that are out there. Keep doing your thing. And if you're a nerd that's watching this, keep being you. Stay being weird. Go ahead and get yourself a real wife who that's going to love and care about you just as much as your wife who does. And husband, I, I don't care. Wife who husband, whatever. <laughs> Anyways, keep doing your thing, guys. Let's just uh, keep, you know, make your 2023 our best year possible. And let's just keep it going, man. You no, know, we the community, you know what I'm saying? We stay strong in this joint. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys later. Like I said, peace, love, and positivity. Wait, wait, hold on. Peace, love, and positivity to all. And I'll see you guys in another episode of... Hold on. Let me get a drink real quick. Weeb talk and i'll see you guys in the episode of weeb talk stay being you <laughs> that's that happened Try <laughs> whatever peace boom